Hello and welcome back to part four of the writing portion of your naturalization test. Okay, I want you to get your pen and paper ready. I'm going to be reading the sentences a number of times over and over, not what they would give you on the test. I just want you to hear it over and over. I'm going to say it slow at first and get a little bit faster, okay? So number 31, we have 100 senators. 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 Okay, this is a little interesting one when you're doing this. We're going to be talking about how to capitalize senators. The S in senators right here needs to be capitalized. On your paper, it's a small S, but you need to make it a large S, okay? We need to make it a big S in senators, okay? Because remember Betty taught you in the previous video if it's a title. So it's actually like we have 100 doctors. So this is going to be 100 senators. It needs to be larger. Okay? We have 100. And I know y'all know how to spell 100 because y'all can write checks out. And y'all are giving checks with 100. So I know that's correct. Okay. Excellent. Number 32. There are 100 senators in the U.S. Senate. 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 Okay, so here we are. There are 100 senators in the U.S. Senate. Now notice Senate and Senators are both capitalized in here. Also, we wrote the numerical, num uh, numerical for 100. We didn't spell out 100 like in the previous sentence. The key word is in the, in the U.S. Senate. Very good. Number 33. The US, United States has 50 states. The 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 United States has 50 states. And once again, this is a really good one with numbers and how to spell out words, numbers. This is like writing a check with the word 50 on it. Um, you know how to write 50 and 100, and that's pretty easy. So 50 spelled out for you. The United States is capitalized. But when we write states over here, it's lowercase. So United States, because it's a title or a state, it's big. But when we say that it's a particular state, it's lowercase, okay? And so that's kind of like that senators and senators, okay? So there we go with 50 states. Excellent. Number 34. The White House is in Washington, D.C. 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 And once again, remember our punctuation for Washington, D.C. We're going to have that comma at the end, like Betty was saying. D.C. is like East Baton Rouge Parish. 
It's District of Columbia. It's abbreviated. White House is a specific house, so it's capitalized. You have three, the White House, Washington, all those are capitalized. The key for listening on this one is is in, is in, is in is sometimes hard to hear when you're writing, but is in Washington, D.C. Excellent. Number 35. Alaska is the largest state. 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 And what I like about this sentence is that almost no one in Vietnamese uh, gets the words, misspells the word Alaska because it does sort of sound like a Japanese or an Asian top name. And I love that y'all get this, y'all don't get this wrong. But here's the is the, is the, is the. And then once again, here's that ST ending largest, largest state. And we have that ST sound again. Alaska is the largest state. Excellent. Number 36. California has the most people. 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 And what I love about this sentence is that many of y'all don't miss California because that was your port of entry. That's the state that you came in, the state that your port was in. But California has the, has the, has the, the with the S has the most once again that ending sound most people most people very good excellent number 37 Canada is north of the United States now this is one that we need to mention that it's on your paper and it's very important to listen to what the officer is reading to you, okay? So if I read it off this paper, it says, Canada is the north of the United States, is the, you need to write is the, okay? You need to listen, of the, right of the, okay? But this one is not how you would really say, say it in English. You would say that Canada, is north of the United States. Canada is north of the United States. So this is one of those questions. I want y'all to be paying close, close attention to what the officer is saying, okay? So here we go. And I love that Hannah wrote, she put it in parentheses right here. Canada is north of the United States, okay, right here. You see this? But if the officer reads this word, the, you need to write the, okay? If she says it's wrong, that's what you had. And that's why they audio tape these and videotape these to make sure you're hearing what is correct and what's being done is correct. So Canada is north of the United States. And once again, here is that TH phonogram, like in the north. Okay, so we're gonna have that same that same setup of uh, English on the next one. Okay, so we're talking about number thirty-eight here. Uh oh, no, no, no. No, we're actually talking about thirty-eight. That's right. Delaware is one of the original thirteen states. Delaware is one of the original thirteen states. Delaware is one of the original 13 
states. Delaware is one of the original 13 states. Now, in all the people who have tested uh, for the American citizenship, no one in Louisiana has gotten this one, and I'm actually kind of glad because Delaware is a hard one to spell, but it's Delaware, okay? Delaware is one of the original 13 states. This is the numerical 13. Delaware is one of the original 13 states. Original is a really hard word to spell phonetically. And if you break it down, but it almost has like the word origins in it. It kind of does to help you spell that. But Delaware is one of the original 13 states. This is one you're just going to have to memorize. And this is a tough one. Nearly everyone has trouble with this one. But hopefully no one in Louisiana gets this one. Okay. Number 39. And this is very similar to the one that's like in, uh, for Canada. 39 says Mexico is south of the United States. 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 And once again, if the officer includes a the in there, Mexico is the south of the United States, please write it, okay? But if she does not or he does not, do not write it. But um, pretty much every every Vietnamese person gets the word Mexico correct. I never, even though it has a funny phonogram and sound in there, of Mexico, it has X, X in sound, is south with the TH at the end of South of the United States, okay? Thank you for watching, and that sums up our, our last part of this test. Oh, was I supposed to go to 40? I think I was, yeah, oh, 40. my bad. One more, one more. Okay, number 40. This is the easy one, okay? New York City is on the East Coast. 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 Love it. No one ever misses it. Now, I want y'all to find the error that I made on this one. Did I make a mistake on this one? Look real hard and see if you can find it. And yes, I did. Okay? And so it actually has C. It's a big C in city, New York City. Okay? And so it's New York City. Make sure you have a capital. New York and your city is all capitalized. This is the tricky one. On the, is on the, is on the, on the East Coast. Once again, these in, this N sound here of st, east, you have the S-T, and coast as well. East Coast, New York City is on the East Coast. Also, East is capitalized because it is a specific, particular area. It's a whole big area, but we're not just going East, it's the East Coast, okay? Excellent. Thank y'all for working so hard today and good luck and please watch the next video. Thank you.